Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. On a day where EA didn't even know when they were going to drop content, they couldn't figure out what hour it was going to be, definitely because of the clocks changing in the UK, we had some actual good content. I want to talk about it in today's video. An unexpected evolution, a player PC mini release, and that hero pack not repeatable just once but two times we can do this sbc in the next couple of days we're going to talk about how that impacted the market and speaking of the market i'm basically broke i am full-on investing for a market rise today we'll talk about that and the one thing that we need to have as a part of content today to make this week good if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content as we expected in yesterday's video we did mention it i wouldn't have been surprised if there were issues with the content drop timing wise because of the clocks changing in the uk and there was issues first of all at 6 p.m uk we had a new evolution it was the centurions upgrade which this one at least had me confused at first because if you take a look at it i think there's actually only four cards that you can put in this evolution. It's a basically plus two upgrade. It's very easy to do. None of this 40 game stuff, right? All you have to do is win two, win four, win two, and win four to get a plus two overall upgrade um, overall, and then a plus one on some of the different stat areas, but basically a plus two overall on four of the different evolution cards, but there's going to be more. And this is where I think it's kind of confusing at the moment is this feels like the most limited evolution yet because it basically only evolves around 85 rated or below Centurions cards that are in packs. And right now, all we have are Andrich, Dunk, Muniain, and Ryerson, with I think Lewis Dunk being the most popular of all of these to evolve. Already getting a massive pace boost from the mini release for his gold card to the Centurions, going up to 81 pace, getting a plus two in defense, plus one in physical. That's a good looking card, right? The thing that I think about this is, I wouldn't start it just yet, guys, especially with all the other evolutions that are going on right now. Of course, you got Trailblazer ones. We got the other Centurions, massive ones that came out on Friday. This one you have to unlock in 20 days, expires in 27. This is one that I would wait uh, at least till later on this week or maybe until Team 2 because once Team 2 comes out, there are definitely going to be more players that you would be eligible to upgrade this because definitely there's a team two coming and we get more 85 rated centurions cards at first i thought this was going to be like something where you could take an already upgraded centurions card like your centurion sharpshooter since it has a centurions design i thought you were going to be able to put it into this and then get like an additional upgrade on top of it that would have been sick but that's actually not what it is taking a card from the market that's already existing a promo item of centurions and just giving them a slight boost. So, at least in the Lewis Dunk category, or if you're a Dortmund fan and want to do Ryerson, it's decent. I would wait for Team 2, or also just wait if you pack one of these cards in tradable this week, which it seems like the pack weight is pretty high for those kind of cheaper tier cards. Then uh, then I would go ahead and, you know, put that in there. It's basically just if you pack one of those, you can go put it in that Evolutions upgrade, play a few games of squad battles, and get yourself an even better card. So I have nothing against it. Just think it's a little interesting. I wish we would have been able to put other evolution cards that are you know evolu evolutions that we have evolved uh or sorry centurions that we have evolved into that that would have been sick now on to the sbcs two big sbcs yesterday the first one's pretty expensive five foot three definitely left stick op marta five star skills four star weak foot with almost all of the ball control dribbling traits that you can have she got flare plus first touch trickster technical trivella and acrobatic but the price here is what is throwing everybody off and it, it is a nice upgrade over her gold card marta 87 rated centurions 250,000 coins uh if it weren't for the five star skill moves this would probably have like a two percent upvote if i'm being completely honest um for me this is a nice upgrade again like i said but it's a little bit too expensive and it's one that i think a lot of people are going to be passing over and then if we take a look at the mini release i do want to give ea some props i mean i'm going to be completely honest with this centurions content that we have had no doubt that the evolutions have been great no doubt that some of the sbcs have even been pretty solid right but it's the upgrades in these cards guys look at this felipe anderson from an 81 to an 85 plus three pace plus five passing five defense five physical even on the marta card she got a nice upgrade over her base gold lacazette plus 13 pace and then threes and twos everywhere else he has a play style plus as well which is kind of different for where a lot of the other centurions cards are at that was like last two weeks with trailblazers 
He's got a playstyle plus, which is cool. And then, of course, you look at Lewis Dunk, right? Going from an 81 rated card, plus 35 pace, plus 4 defense, 5 physical. Like, GG's, EA, right? Give the credit where the credit is due. And I think there's some credit due this week for at least making these cards with really interesting upgrades. And the menu released yesterday specifically, GG's, right? I got to say GG's to that because they're actually doing something sick. And let's appreciate it for what it is because, I mean, let's be honest, guys. I would rather have... Even if it's a bit overpriced and expensive, even this Odegaard SBC, I would take this all day long over like, you know, the Kevin Trap was cheap, but the upgrade wasn't that great. This is better than the Alvarez, in my opinion, this Odegaard is. And even like the Le Sommer and some of those other SBC, even the Foyt, right? I think I like the Centurions content. It seems like EA is pushing the Centurions a little bit more. They want this to be a little bit more of a hyped week with the way that especially the Evolutions content is going. So GG's to EA for dropping some pretty nice content over the weekend. Now, the big SBC, the Max 87 Hero Upgrade, it did return, and this of course was dropped with the Marta SBC being uh, at 7 p.m. UK, an hour after. I don't know what was going on with EA yesterday with the timing, but always expect mistakes and things around the time change. Um, 84 and 85 rated squad guys, they changed up the requirements on us. Instead of one squad, it's two, and every time you have a two squad SBC, you get packs in return and this time it was two tradable packs which definitely impacted the market yesterday alongside of people going and selling to go and get this SBC done selling cards from their team to get coins to go buy fodder at the same time I think you had some pack supply coming on and that made the market drop a lot but one part of the market that is not dropping as you can see still 90,000 coins to do this SBC which is just about the same price as last time maybe a hair more expensive 84 rated absolutely exploded they were above 3,000 coins right now right around that 3k range look at this rise yesterday guys all of them were around 1.8 to 2k and rose to three and a half thousand coins in the peak of the demand as this sbc was completed by so many people yesterday i would say this if you're waking up today on monday and you're like i want to buy something man go bid on 84s and try to get them under 3k maybe like 2.5 2.7 if you can snag them there on bid you're probably going to be able to find ones that sell today at 3k plus what i would try to do is just find the ones yesterday that went up to like 3.6 or 3.7 some of them just rise a little bit more than others um and then you know you can see them spike back up there like boom katarina was uh 3.8 k that's the highest that i've seen so far out of all of these um what about like gabrielle maybe since gabrielle is semi-usable he went up a little bit higher 3.4 k all right just kidding so just kind of click through some of the 84s and if you want to do some grinding on the market today bid on some of those for like 2.7 to 2.9 K you might be able to sell them for like 3.8 or 3.9 again listing for lazies right now as so many people who are doing this SBC is going to be a great way to make some easy coins during the week just buying cards and then relisting them over and over every single hour to try to get lazy sales because this SBC has demand now since it's cheap ish again and the player pool here is still pretty good uh, it has a lot of hype, and that also impacted a lot of the gold market. Like we mentioned, people sold cards to do this SBC, and at the same time, people are packing some of these meta golds because the two tradable packs that you get for doing the SBC. Take a look at Hyunmin Sun from 81,000 coins right after squad battle rewards yesterday. There was a nice uh, rise on the SB rewards market, so GG's if you bought any gold cards uh, sun, or that was a Saturday night into Sunday morning. That was a good time to buy there. They did have a nice rise, but of course, content came out, and from 80,000 coins, he has gone down to 68K for Hyunmin Sun. VVD is down from like 240. Kyle Walker, even Rashford, who's out of packs, is down. Griezmann, 115. The guy was 130, like, on Friday and even on Saturday, and he's now down to 115K. Like, a lot of big drops, even further drops, on specifically a lot of meta gold because I think people are selling cards once again to go buy fodder and I'm this is where I'm invested for a market rise today guys I really do think there's going to be a rise back on some of these cards I don't think Rafael Leao is going to go back to like 90k today but could I see him going back to like 80k heck yeah so that's why I've bought a decent amount of cards and we'll talk about that in a second one part of the market that didn't rebound that well though yesterday was heroes and I think maybe it's because you can do this SBC twice I think a lot of people were expecting the hero market to rebound really insane like it did the first time, and that's just not what happened. I mean, there were some decent rebounds, like Wesley Snyder went from 360. Before content, he was 350. 
360 after the SBC release, he went up about 20k, but now he's back down to like 370,000 coins. And you know, some of your other heroes, like cards are still kind of low. I mean, this is a card that I traded with just two days ago uh, when she was 140,000 coins. I think it was on Saturday. Yeah, right. No, no. Where was it? Well, I don't know when I traded with this card. I think it was right here. 120. And then I traded it and sold her at like 140. Yeah, it was, it was right here. So um, and now she's back down to like 120 or 130 still. So I don't know. A, a lot of heroes didn't rebound that well yesterday. Um, like a lot of people, I think we're expecting them to. I think that first time, we're going to have to remember this for next year as well. The very first time we get a hero or an icon pack upgrade, the heroes or icons explode after that because the first one is always so massive and usually ahead of time as well for the first one we had like significant leaks we saw this pack added to the code people panic sold for it prices dropped nobody was buying heroes they were waiting until the sbc came out and this time there wasn't as much anticipation for that sbc because you know it was already in the code and it wasn't like okay there was a couple of leaks but it was also like i don't know we've already had the sbc once so it didn't hit as different uh right there so that's kind of why I think the heroes didn't rebound as well yesterday. Now, let's talk about the market. I want to talk a little bit about the market today for sure because you can see me. I'm like broke. I have 100,000 coins. I had to take a few losses over the weekend. As I said in last night's video, I didn't sell Harry Kane for 320 because he went up to 340. I was able to sell him there. I flipped a Pedri yesterday, flipped a Kuman again, uh, flipped the two Joao Pedros. I bought two of them, one at 387. And one at 399 that you saw in the video sold those for 430. Could have sold them for more. He went all the way to 450 yesterday. Um, what else did I flip? I got a couple. I bought some Tamoris. I sold my Rashford. I bought a couple of Tamoris at like 42k. Sold them at 49. And I'm all in again, guys. I bought a Felipe Anderson tonight. I think I bought him a little bit early. I bought him at 93k. I think he's at 90k. That's the most risky play that I have since he's mini release. I wanted to try and buy one of him. I got some Frimpong informs. I bought a Tamori at 332. I thought that was really low after he didn't drop too much during the weekend. And then I picked up a bunch of gold suns and I bought a couple more Tamoris as well. So I'm in on a lot of golds. I'm in on a couple of special cards. I thought that Frimpong, Frimpong is the most used card out of the team of the week. And yeah, I know prices are dropping pretty heavily into this Monday morning after they dropped all day yesterday on Sunday. But I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to go for it because the markets on Mondays have been doing so good. Like, why would this Monday be different? And it could be, and we could be mudded, but I'm going to full send it because this weekend has been such a big weekend of drops in prices for a lot of these cards. Specifically, this is what I saw when I looked at Hyunmin Sun, guys. Like, Friday, Hyunmin Sun was 115,000 coins. Like, that is how much he was going for. He's freaking 68K, right? That's almost like, it's almost a 50% drop off on the card, man. And it's not like we had a new Hyunmin Sun that was dropped. It was literally just, we had a bunch of panic selling and a bunch of supply. Yeah, sure, it's a market correction. And sure, maybe his card was a bit expensive um, because it was, it was out of packs. It definitely was a bit expensive. But like, that's a huge drop off for one of the most usable cards in the game. Usman Dembele. This is a guy that was in packs. Take a look at his card from Friday. I mean, he was still 140,000 coins and now he's 100k. Like, I don't expect Usman to go back up to like 130 today, but maybe 115 to 120. You make a small five, six, seven percent on a flip after tax for some of these cards. It could be a really, really nice day today on the market for the golds, the meta golds, higher rated golds, especially. So that's kind of where I'm looking. If you're like, Nate, golds scare me. I feel you. I feel you. On the entire weekend, I barely traded with golds. Just a couple of them yesterday after squad battle rewards because they've been dropping mostly. If you don't want to trade with any of those, guys, out of packs cards, like that's why I was looking at Frimpong. I was using the same logic looking at this card. Frimpong is the most hyped card from Team of the Week. Yesterday on um, Sunday, yesterday on, okay, yes, Sunday, here we go, 87K all the way to 93, which isn't a big rise, but now he's down to 82K. So I picked up like three or four of them at 81, 82K. And I was like, if he goes to 87, 88, 89, I have one with a shadow. I could probably sell that for like 95 or something crazy because, who, I mean, people pay for the shadow to go like above 100 pace on Brimpong with the uh, added stats. Not really above, but you know the jokes. So, you know, stuff like that today, I think there's good chances for it to rebound. And if you don't want to mess around at all with stuff in packs, by all means, get on the out-of-packs market, man. I mean, look at some of these old Team of the Weeks. 
Kingsley Coleman is one of my favorite informs to flip. 180K for this card. Yesterday, he was 196. You buy this at 180. You sell it at 197 today or somewhere close to there. You're making a nice couple, eight, seven, eight thousand coins per card, depending on how much you get for the actual buy price. And, you know, all is well. So that's the sort of thing. Wow, 176. I wish I had coins. That I would so buy that right now. That's the type of stuff that I like right now on the market the most. And, guys, I can't not talk about Road to the Knot. Oh, my goodness, man. I want to buy this card. This guy goes down every single freaking night. If you want to draw Pedro, I think you got to pick him up, man. I mean... This is the second night in a row where I'm looking at this card. And, you know, last night it was 399K, but Road to the Knockouts just keep going up. And the fact that Joao Pedro was 450,000 coins at multiple points yesterday, if you're on the market and you see this card at 400 and even 15K or below, I wish I had that many coins, I would buy that card because he's probably going back to 450 today. You can see that some of the Road to the Knockouts, as they continue to get more rare, just keep spiking. Look at Usman Dembele. He went up 100K yesterday. Um, let me look at the other cards. I think Sokka. Sokka's over 900 now. Um, who was it? There was another card yesterday that went up 100K. Luis Diaz, 956K. Big rise for his card. Really watch DePaul. He's still low from the center mids being low, but he's a super rare card. Links to Yorente. If people are going to play Yorente at right back. I just think that these cards are some of the best to trade right now because they're just super rare. So, don't go overboard. Like, definitely watch the fluctuations and keep an eye on these cards because some of them just keep going up. And you got to be careful with the ones that just keep going crazy high. Like, Hingapi's 100,000 coins now, which is crazy. I mean, this guy was 50K, 45K like 20 days ago, not even 20 days ago. And now he is 100,000 coins. So you got to be careful with them at the same time. But they're just so good to flip. So watch the out of packs market there. I'd also throw out there watch, um, watch icons. I know I'm going to show you a Centurion's icon right now. But just watch the icons today. This Kuman is a fantastic card to flip as well. If I had 150K, I'd try to pick one of these up because the last two days over the weekend, he's gone up like 20K every morning. It's a card that I can't believe is this cheap. It's it's cheaper than what his regular icon was. It's higher rated, dynamic image, sick card design. I love it. So I'm a big fan of this Kuman to trade with as well today. And just in general, if you're going to trade, just be careful with the center mids. I know I just shouted a center mid. I've been talking about a few of them here or there. Just be careful with the center mids because... A lot of people are still working through the box to box evolution. And I think that puts people off from buying some of those off of the market. Um, so that's the only thing I would say right now is I'm really not buying too many of the center mids. I'm trying to stick mostly to, you know, defenders and attackers because that CM spot is definitely crashing, like we talked about in yesterday's video. Uh, a couple other things I want to take a look at with fodder really quickly i already mentioned buying a load maybe today during the supply with the weekly rewards being paid out you can definitely do that i would stick to 83s 84s and 85s if you were doing that specifically the 84s and there's still a shout if you bought 87s or 86s even that they could go up a bit more this weekend or during the week this week after this weekend high rated fodder is dropping though which is what we wanted to see i'm going to be completely honest i wanted to see the 88s and above drop which is very, very nice because that opens the door for another investment on those types of cards sometime either during the week this week, maybe on Thursday, maybe on Friday, depending on what we have upcoming, maybe even before that, who knows. But 90 rated at 45,000 coins, like that's down 10K from where they were on Friday. That is nice, okay? Wow, Messi's almost 90 rated fodder too. That's crazy. Courtois is more than Messi. What does this game come to? Anyways, um, yeah, so that's nice to see there. This is not fodder that I was really super interested in investing in just because we, it would take, it would take honestly, a Vidic SBC. And I know that is a leaked SBC that could be coming. We've already got Pirlo, though. So I have to wonder now, is Vidic going to be next week entirely and not even this weekend uh, or during the week this week at all? That's one thing that I wonder about. So I'm not going to touch the higher rated fodder, at least right now. One thing that would maybe interest me in higher rated fodder during the week this week is if Antoine Griezmann and or Jude Bellingham win player of the month. And I really think that Antoine Griezmann is going to be the winner of that POTM from the month of October. The vote is already out. So I'm pretty sure that El Clasico is not accounted for. The voting was over, I think, before El Clasico or at least was almost ending. I haven't checked the website. Um, actually, let me check that right now because whenever there are leaks or news or information about uh, La Liga POTM for October. Okay, the vo La Votación está cerrada, right? So it's over. Um, yeah, that's that's going to be a big SBC, probably pretty expensive, and that could make whoever wins. 
I'm saying I hope Griezmann wins because I voted for him. Bellingham could win as well. Who knows? Whoever ends up winning that, um, there could be some high-rated squad requirements there as well, and that could make high-rated fodder move. But I honestly would wait for a leak before I would invest in any of those 88 and above cards for that. Now, what needs to happen for content today, guys? Upgrade packs, okay? None of the 75-plus player pick stuff that is just trash. None of the 80-plus single upgrades that are trash as well. Give us a 78 double for like six non-rare golds or something. I want an upgrade pack with two players in it because so far this year, technically doing the gold upgrades has been like better value than doing the regular upgrade packs. All the upgrade packs we've had this year have been trash. So guys, if you want to gamble on it today and you want to stock a few in your club, uh, gold commons for uh, 300, 350 is a very easy way to probably make some coins this week because with how packable the promo cards seem, I mean, you take a look at the promo team, the fact that this Pedri is 220K, the Tamori is 340, you know, you got a Rashford, you've got all the icons, icons will be packable. Guys, these, these icons will be packable from upgrade packs and player picks this week because they are promo icons. We've seen it in the past. They have pack odds shown for them in the store. You can pack them out of player picks or upgrade packs this week. Um, that's going to bring some demand for these, these player picks or packs. So I would stock some comments in your club. Um, and you could probably sell them for 500 to 550 during the week after we get upgrade packs today, but I'm not expecting that, um, crazy of a day of content. I mean, we had a crazy day yesterday. We had a crazy day Friday at most today. I'm thinking one upgrade pack, the unlimited repeatable ones, maybe a second upgrade pack of like an 85 plus or an 84 times two, like we've had the past couple of weeks. And then a maybe an, a player SBC, an icon player. I know we still have the Mudrick that is out there that has not been seen yet. The Vidic. I think those are the only two leaks that we have. We'll see if we get anything else today. But I'm not expecting a big day, which should help as well the market rise. Now, personally, since I plan to trade a decent amount today, I think I'm going to be selling a lot of this stuff pre-content, right? I bought it tomorrow for 330 I think I'm going to try to sell that card before the content drop today. It's up to you. If you think it's going to be an L content day, like Mondays normally are, prices could continue to go higher after content because it does feel like there is a decent amount of hype for the game right now, all things considered. Feels like a decent amount of hype on the game with the Centurions, Evolutions, everybody wants to be playing the game and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I'm feeling for the market today and what I'm thinking is going to happen on the market today as well. Let me know down in the comments who you're going to be buying for this um, potential Monday market rise and I will see you guys in the stream today. Thanks for enjoying the video today. If you did enjoy it, sorry, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new as always. We live today on Twitch playing some Rivals, doing some upgrade packs and maybe making some coins as well. That is the hope so that link is down below in the description i will see you guys in the stream today it's been an eighth foot count and catch you guys there peace out